and a 27-year-old monster took advantage of a 13-year-old child. First at four, we are hearing for the first time tonight from the Valley parents who say their 13 year old son was sexually abused by his teacher. That family asked that we protect their identity. They say the school ignored some serious warning signs and they want answers. Uh, Mike Watt with both parents earlier today and joins us live. Hard to imagine what they're going through, Mike. Yeah, and it was definitely an emotional news conference for the first time since the arrest of school teacher Brittany Zamora, the parents of Zamora's alleged victim. That 13-year-old boy, they, sp they spoke out today. They asked, as you mentioned, that we not show their faces and that we alter their voices. But today at their lawyer's office, the father and stepmother of the 13-year-old boy at the center of this headline-grabbing story, they had lots to say. Their child allegedly sexually molested by the 27-year-old Brittany Zamora, the 13-year-old boy's teacher at Las Brisas Academy in Goodyear. Today, the emotional parents calling Zamora a monster and slamming the administration of Las Brisas Academy for ignoring alleged early warning signs and now trying to cover it all up. We teach your kids that there's no such thing as monsters at all. There's none. But in the real world, there are monsters and Brittany Zamora is a monster. And the big thing for us is that we want people to understand just because it's a boy it makes it no different. That it's the same. It's a 13-year-old child that got taken advantage by a monster. He started to express different emotions. He was sad. And he slept all day. And he's it's starting to hit him, the reality of what actually happened. Yeah, the couple saying that Las Brisas administration was aware of allegations and rumors of a relationship between the teen and the teacher some time ago and kept the parents in the dark. As we mentioned, the couple speaking at a Tempe law office today, it seems pretty clear that they are preparing to file a civil lawsuit. Meanwhile, Brittany Zamora remains behind bars facing a slew of criminal charges. And we're going to have a lot more from this mom and dad coming up at 5 o'clock. In the newsroom, I'm Mike Watkins, Arizona's family.